Hey guys, what is going on? This is JackAttack45, and today we're going to have the first episode of Argentine Attack. This is going to be my first episode of The Road to Glory. Such a good response yesterday from you guys who wanted to see A Road to Glory. Now, I've always said that Road to Glories have been way overdone, but you know what? If you do it with a unique idea, like an Argentinian squad... You know, you're going to come out on top, so I figured I would do it, and I've always wanted to do one. They look like a lot of fun, just building your team up from scratch. And honestly, I've never actually played with the starter team that they uh, given me off the bat, because I've always had... I, I got some good players in uh, FIFA 11 Ultimate Team, as well as in FIFA 12 Ultimate Team in both starter packs. So today, you will see me playing the first game with this awful squad and you know what it was quite a nail biter i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna spoil it for you you're gonna have to watch to find out what happens but uh it is gonna be a awesome one so there you see the argentine attack with the abbreviation j45 for jack attack 45 and uh as you'll see from my starter pack here i get a silver right back and uh i get a decent striker up front in arnaud 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 i think that's how you say it but uh, the man of the match you will see coming up here who just goes off for me is B. Lee. I'm not really sure what his first name is. I didn't actually check, but uh, you will see him in a little bit. I'm shuffling my squad around here, going over at two times speed, so I just took forever to try to shuffle around my squad. My original squad, the, the team that they lined me up with started off with the 24 chemistry or something like that, so EA just gave me a great team to work with. But I think I actually got one of the slowest left backs in the game as well with that Polish uh, left back with 32 pace so that was quite funny but uh i did get a couple uh irish league players and a couple of uh end power two league players so i ended up moving them all around to be on one side so it ended up being a little bit of an end power two irish hybrid here for my first game a little bit of a french flair as well but so uh, the first game i played with actually i played in the four four two you guys know i do like that formation and uh you guys will see what happened, but I didn't know that if I would have changed it to a 4-3-3 or a 4-3-2-1, as you guys suggested in the comments from yesterday, which I am going to be sticking with here, I would have gotten much better chemistry. I would have ended up getting like 63 chemistry or something like that. So uh, it was quite funny. I think the best chemistry I got here was about a 54 rated chem, so you guys will see that here in a second. O'Brien putting him in the center mid spot. He was not uh, the best player for me, that is for sure, but he did fit in very well with the uh, Atricity League players. So as you will see here, we have the USA goalkeeper as well. I was happy they gave me some, at least one USA player. I was pretty psyched about that. But uh, as you can see here, this is what the squad's looking like before we go into a game. And uh, 54 chemistry, like I said before, if I just would have moved it over to the 4-3-3 or the 4-3-2-1, which I'm going to play anyway, I would have gotten about 60 chemistry. But, uh, you know, that's the squad we took into the game. The center attacking mid there on the left side is actually quite a good player. But uh, that other center mid is absolutely awful, I learned. And uh, that right striker there, he's going to come through uh, for me here. You guys will see in a second. But we come up against a pretty decent team to start. He doesn't have the best chemistry, but he has actually been adding a few players. He does have a good striker that gives me problems. I think his name is uh, Armand. I think that's who it is. But uh, he has a gold center back here, a couple Mexico silver players from Unam, and then a couple of shinies. Uh, left wing, English left wing. Got a bronze shiny center mid and, of course, a... I think that's an Austrian right mid. I'm not really sure on that one. Don't quote me on that one, but uh, the first goal would be scored by Mr. B. Klee, and look at that. I mean, that is a great finish, to be honest, in the seventh minute. I was really happy about that. Um, basically, what I was doing, guys, this whole time was I was just trying to do uh, one, two through balls. I mean, my strikers were extremely slow, but I still managed to get through a few times. As you will see here, he just loved cutting back to that finesse shot with uh, Armand here, and he actually did score two pretty okay, I mean okay goals. I mean they weren't amazing. The second one was a much better finish, but the first one here, you know, he cuts back and I was playing that cutback for the whole rest of the game. Literally like three minutes later, he cuts back once again, and this is the one I was talking about. Look at that finish. My defender definitely should have stepped up and blocked that. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, I was down 2-1. I mean, I was he was taking shots at me, and uh, you know I wasn't getting too many chances. My strikers weren't really making the best runs. I think the best chemistry player that I had was actually my striker, Mr. B. Lee, uh, with six chemistry. So, you know, they weren't working too well together. They were kind of playing really slow, and the passes were just being sloppy. We'd actually send our nod through here, and... Uh, of course, got to pass it across, got to finish. To be completely honest, my strikers are so slow that uh, even with the 1-2 through ball working perfectly, 
his defenders were still catching up, so I had to sweat that one out. I had to pass that one across. Look at Key here, just uh, <laughs> sending that awesome, awesome uh, free kick there. And, of course, we have another miss. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I had so many chances in this game that were just like this one right here in the 88th minute to try to take the game, but uh, it was no sale. We got to go into extra time here. Tied 2-2 after uh 90 minutes and you know what his only two goals were those two cutback finesses so i wasn't too happy about that he actually looked like he was going to end match as a draw and i was like don't you dare this is my first game of a road to glory you can't do that but uh, as you can see here in the 105th minute we had a great chance and i do not know how this missed i was so disappointed in that finish but uh you know i i was just i was killing myself here guys i was like oh i gotta win this first game i have to and uh you know We'd try to pull it through here. Key would somehow find the back of the net. And, I mean, look at that little play there from him. You know, that was that was a man-of-the-match moment there. I mean, look at that. That is a awful, awful job by the keeper. But I'm pretty sure he tried to bring him out to try to fool me a little bit there. But uh, Key's just going to put it through. And, of course, you know, we're going to send him through once again. And the man-of-the-match is going to fake shot around both the defender and the goalie and put it home. And, I mean, that is just a great finish. This guy was actually really, really pissed at this point. He was not having any of the fact that I just scored in the 116th minute. He really wanted to go to penalties. And as you'll see here, he brings out his keeper. I don't know what he's doing there. I was going to try to send Key through on goal, but our, our nod there is there to put it away. So we win that, end up winning that game with three goals in the 116th minute and on. I couldn't believe that. It was, guys, honestly, for my first Road to Glory game, I was just... I was so nervous. I was like, I cannot lose my first game. Like, I was, if I lost, I was going to post it no matter what. If I tied, if he ended matches a draw, I was just going to say, you know what? I want to move on. I want to get some better players. But uh, that is how it ended, guys. Five to two. I couldn't believe it. Ended up key getting four goals there and Arnaud uh, snapping on that last goal. I mean, oh man, was that a crazy game. And uh, ended up getting 832 coins for that one. So uh, quite a good pickup there. You know, with the first game, I love to see that uh, 832 coins. And with that 832 coins, we would go and we would pick up our first gold player for the Argentinian side here. And uh, he w his name is actually Salviola. He's basically... Um, a beast player. I looked at his in-game stats. He looks like an amazing pickup. I've heard uh, good things about him. Um, he's actually from Benfica in the Liga Portuguesa, so I'm sure AA9 will be proud of me for picking a Benfica player, not a Porto player. It's funny because there actually are a lot of Porto and Benfica players from Argentina. But that is what the squad is looking like. As you can see here, 63 chemistry. It's quite funny because if I just would have changed my formation up to a 4-3-2-1 or a 4-4 Four three three. I was gonna say four four three. I caught myself. Don't worry. But uh, if I would have changed it up, I would have got a lot better chemistry in that first game. Probably would have had a little bit easier game. But there was the squad. You see it. Salviola from Benfica, of course. A nine. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, guys, can't wait to bring out another episode. Let's get a thousand likes. See if we can't get another thousand likes. To let yesterday's video announcing the RTG got that a thousand likes. I couldn't believe it. So I'm really pumped to make this RTG, you guys. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll try to get more gameplay in the next episode, but that game was just too epic not to show all of the epicness that was going on. Guys, I'm serious. That was the ner most nerve-wracking game I've played in a really long time on FIFA, and uh, it is fun when you do have one of those games. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. This has been Jack Attack 45 with the first episode of Argentine Attack. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.